Now, That's is right. there anything else that we can expect uh, to see data-wise except from uh, a water discovery? Are there any other uh, things that we could find? Well, there, there are a lot of other investigations. There's a microscope that's taking the highest resolution images ever returned from the surface of Mars, and that's seeing some pretty neat differences among all those soil grains that they're digging up. Um, they're also starting to dig in a different location from where they originally dug. The original dig site was on the edge of those polygonal features that you see on the surface of Mars, so it was digging down into one of the gaps between polygons. The, um, the next site that they're digging in, one called Wonderland, is out right in the middle of one of those polygons. So now they're, they're going to see something slightly different underneath the soil. They also have a camera that is very slowly but surely assembling a beautiful multicolor panorama of the surrounding landing site. One of the things I'm most looking forward to is seeing how the landscape appears to change as the sun sinks toward the horizon with the coming polar winter. Um, and what I really hope we'll be able to see as Phoenix lasts, uh, hopefully, into an extended mission is the first frost coming to the landing site as winter arrives, which I think would make for some very cool pictures. Well, my guest has been Emily Lakdawalla of the Planetary Society. You can find her writings at planetary.org slash blog. Thank you very much, Emily. You're welcome. <laughs>